What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a triggered video in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, like say this was a requested tutorial, I've been asked this multiple times and I'm finally going to be making it. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So in order to do this effect, you're going to need something known as Sapphire Plugins. And as you can see, it is not free. You do have to pay for it. However, you can have a trial. Now, they have not paid me to promote this. This is something I use a lot and it has a lot of good effects. So with that being said, now I have my video and I have the triggered meme and down links this will be in the description. The video itself is completely up to you if you want to use it. So I have the video and then I'm going to put a new video track and put the triggered on top. And I don't want the trigger to start straight away, but as you can see if we come across, um, I believe it's the girl who has a panic attack and that's why I'm going to put the triggered on. So right there, it's going to take one to maybe a bit longer. There we go two seconds for the trigger to start so that's where she's going to start screaming and that's where I want the trigger to start and then I'm just going to spread it across to 10 seconds just like that and then I'm going to press S on my keyboard and delete the remaining of this S on my keyboard here and del and then we have this so this part is just going to be normal when it gets onto these two tracks they're both going to be shaken violently now first of all we need to right click on the video, properties, disable resample, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. We have to do that for both. And we also need to do that for the triggered one as well. So just right click, disable resample, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Then come back to here and we can put our normal 1080 one. So triggered is super big at the moment but we're going to fix it. And the way we're going to fix it is coming to track motion. If this is what you're going to get and now we just need to position it uh, very very small compared to this one so obviously it needs to be spread across the screen like this and as you'll see I'm moving it freely and you need to make sure size about scale is unchecked and last lock aspect ratio is also unchecked that way you're able to freely move it up and down like so I'm gonna have it that size and just position it with the arrow keys now we're done with that now it's time to add on the effects, so come over to video effects and you want to look for S underscore shake which is right here. Now there's going to be default and that's the only one you need so just drag on default and these are the settings you're going to be getting and the only ones you need to mess with is the amplitude and the frequency. The, f uh, the phase you can leave the same. So the amplitude I'm going to put up a bit and I'm also going to put up the frequency like that and what I'm going to do where it says preset, I'm going to come here and call this shake. I'm then going to press the save button, X out of this, and you can see it's saved right here. I'm going to drag this on the video. And now, if we play through, as you'll see, it's going to create this triggered effect. Just like that. Now, if you're thinking, oh, they're on a roller coaster, you've done no effects, I'll take the effect off. I just put, as you can see, we actually did apply the effect using this right here. So one more time. Just like that we've been able to make the triggered effect very very quickly. And that is how you make a triggered effect in Sony Vegas. Obviously there's a very simple way if you have the Sapphire plugins and to be honest it does look better with the Sapphire plugins but if you don't have the Sapphire plugins then of course you can just use the event pan and crop. Anyway that is it for this video, hopefully this video has helped you and like I said at the start of the video if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.